Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about online prices versus local stores. Um, since I recently lost my local store that I've been going to for five years, and when I mean lost, I mean like I'm not going to go there for a while just because you know there's no one else there and I go there and they're playing uh, Force of Will which on Friday nights and I don't know like the tournament organizer there like I don't want to call him out but it was bad like I don't want to say how bad it was but I mean my interactions were him, with him were not always the best and I'm like I I'm a person who brings um, a lot of who buys a ton because I open a ton or I used to open a ton on this channel and I'm okay with that like I'm okay with buying a case of this set I'm okay with buying a case and a half that to me is just like whatever and now I just refuse to buy from there because and I refuse to buy from there well I still bought from there so because the prices are very good they give me extremely good prices on product and uh, that's because I've been buying from there for five years a lot now, when you talk about in terms of, you know, community, they were not very community driven. A lot of things that they offered me were, you know, I was like, oh, no, nah, you just give it to the players, right? So my local store, I invested a ton in and it has failed me a lot. It just epically failed. And now I'm looking at stuff online and the prices that I can get at the store or the same prices I can get online. Yes, there is additional shipping costs. Yes, there is additional uh, money that has to be spent, maybe a little bit more money, but online prices are generally very, very good, especially if you buy in quantities. I even get emails from people from stores that want to sell to me in quantities. And, and just as long as I, you know, I haven't agreed, but as long as I promote them, they get the spe uh, special discount price, which I know is just the, distribution price because I already know what the price is and that's the price I'm used to getting but even in Houston there are stores that I can get the product for about the same price if not cheaper I've always just bought from this store because I want to support the community but because there's no community left um, there's no one to support right and it's kind of a sad issue because now I'm kind of regretting spending all this money at the local game store which honestly has not been great to me now in hindsight i'm like recounting all the times like i mean this one time the dude just yelled at me because i wanted a filia promo one filia promo for buying a case of fat packs and two boxes like what is going on and i'm getting yelled at in front of customers and i am a customer like it doesn't even make sense like i am a customer and then i explain to them Hey dude, I bought buy all this crap from you, and you might not notice because you're always here Friday. I always get my stuff on like Thursdays, but yes, I support this store quite a bit. And it's you know, again, I think one of the main reasons is Eldritch Moon was they didn't have an Eldritch Moon pre-release and they didn't have an Eldritch Moon game day. Therefore, it just uh, that's real bad when they have to tell all of their customers to go to someone else's store. That, that's real bad. But another reason is my friends just got fed up. Like they aren't like me. I mean, one of them is a doctor. One of them is a lawyer. One of them is an accountant. They're, they're professionals. And to be treated like so unprofessionally by the tournament organizer, I can see like, you know, in this scenario where they're asking for one promo and they were not given that one promo that they would just leave and never come back and that's what happened they all decided while i was away for a wedding never to go to that place again and they didn't tell me so i got there i was like oh where is everybody and they're literally playing force will like no like the other people and then i get a text hey you know what this other store and it's way better and we're never going back to that store and, then, and i was like oh well i guess um, that is the end of this store so if you have a cool store, support them, but if you don't, seriously, just buy online. The prices are cheaper, the customer service is probably better, and you just don't have to deal with the politics and the drama and all this stuff, I mean, just to get some magic cards. Now, I'm in it to play Magic the Gathering. I'm not in it to play some like Game of Thrones drama with the tournament organizer where we have to backstab people. <laughs> anyway, leave me a comment below. Bye guys.